Hey, hey. Hey, 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 what is up, what is up, what is up? This is Danny's Music Kid with episode three. Um, episode three, season two of Walk and Talk. I just came out of uh, Mahali Car Wrestle Bar. Tonight's live band was uh, Soundwave. And this is the first time I've heard Soundwave at Mahali Car. And they did a fantastic job. They did like some di like disco cover, rock, rock, rock cover, and like all like pop cover and all that. So like it was a really, really good uh, uh, show tonight. There is two like chamorous. Like during the intermission, there was this one guy by the name of James. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, he killed it. He started. They started. He started. Sorry, singing a song from ACDC. I sing Van Halen and stuff like that. So it was just. Oh my goodness! Because like there are times you, 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 you there are like times where if say there's there's a band coming into there over there and like you'll ask you can sing with the band as well so you can get like a make a song request. Get a song request, you get to sing with the band, and oh my goodness. Yeah, there was like a lot of people tonight. I saw some of my friends from The Ages Reborn. Um, Archie and Glads and Caroline, and then her friend, I think her friend her got her friend, and then there was like a few others there. So it was like really good to see them. So I'll be seeing them tomorrow for the performance. Girl Power Rogue. Is here in town, and then tomorrow, and then Sunday will be the Christmas of a heart. So I'm looking forward to that. And man, it's cold out here. <laughs> yeah, so just left my hobby car now. Oh my gosh, it's nice to be. It's nice to be uh, supporting the the Filipino community once again. I'm very very blessed. I'm like you know, even though I'm not, but hey, I'm Filipino at heart. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to support like this this kind of community because like the positive energy, the vibes, and, and within these people, it's so nice because like you're just like oh, it's like it's like oh my goodness, you know. And when you go other places, it's like yeah, who are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just on my way home now. I think it's like past two in the morning, so I'm just on my way back home. I actually woke up at like after 9.30. I'm like, okay, yeah. Because I, I always make it out here around this time. I think because like, for the second set, just in time for the second set of the show. So I just got there. I just got there and the place was packed on a Friday night. My Holly Car Wrestle Bar is always packed on the Friday. Depends upon too. Like there were times there was like a little, uh, I wanted to say so like it's, like, it's like a little, it's like half empty. But now, like, the winter is here and everything else, the place is going to be, like, the place is packed. You know, it's always been, like, the, the, the first few, like, the other Fridays, because, like, hey, everybody goes out with their families and stuff like that. But now the weekends are packed now because you got karaoke on Thursday, then you got live band Friday and Saturday. Which is good because I get to go one day, one day, and say there's something else planned. On Saturday, I get to go on, like, go out on a Saturday, you know. I do other stuff. So yeah, I just left a few minutes ago so I can shoot this episode tonight. I just gonna shoot it out here to, so I can shoot episode three here tonight and put it up for for this week. Yeah, I shot episode two last night. And now it's time shooting episode three. Oh my goodness, it felt so cold today because I, I was in my holly car and it's like, damn, it's cold in there. I'm like, oh, you feel that, you feel that nice chill. Yeah, so I'm just about to go to Tim Hortons to grab a coffee. And I'll be on my way home. So anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be out. Yeah, so this is the next event tomorrow. I mean today. And then Sunday. And I get of a break. So this and then also... This week I'll be at uh, Sage Manga, where I make a return to Zumba class at Sage. Ma at this time at Sage Manga, over in Scarborough, because I wanted to take a break for like a while because I need to like rehab, rehabilitate my body, my strength, 
because uh, Sunday, like last Sunday in Zumba class, um, you know, I, I think I overdid it, but I need like the exercise, but I need to take care of myself literally because like my face was like sweating red and like I need to like relax a little bit and everything else. So like that's why I took a break for like over a week and everything else. So this week I'm going to be going back to Zumba. It's like Tuesdays and Thursdays at Sage Manga over at Ellesmere in Scarborough. Okay, which is good for me because it's like one bus ride up. So I can hop on the 90, take like the 94 going up to Scarborough. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm almost done posting from last Saturday's 25th anniversary of the Mao community. I just started posting yesterday, then I fell asleep. Okay, I'm going to finish up before the performance of... The, the performance for Friday, Saturday and Sunday because there's so much there's stuff to be put up <laughs> so I'm going to be going into Morton's in about a few minutes actually less than 10 minutes and then my I think my aunt and my uncle they're all coming over for brunch today so I'm going to be going home and sleeping for a little bit as well before I go out. So it's going to be a long Saturday. Not really long Saturday because we're going for brunch. And I got to leave Mississauga before 5 o'clock. Because, uh, yeah, I got, myself, I got my clothes being washed. Yes, I got myself being washed already. And, like, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the weekend. And then get, get, have a break in between. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so yeah, so that's what's happening. And it's already like the middle of November and December's coming up. I mean, like, damn. And also, too, I'm going to say this right here. It's also the three-month anniversary of my mom's death. So, like, it's a bit, it's been, like I said, it's been a little touchy since mom died. But um, I'm able to, like, Sir Pat, like, calm and, you know reflect and everything else um it hurts it hurts it hurts when you lose somebody and it's just like the person it's like you wake up the, per, the it's like you have a dream the person's there for real it's like the person's there for real when you wake up the person's gone yeah i feel it but her spirit's always watching me So Miss Crossing is going to wait to cross the street. And so I can make my way up, up to Tim Hortons and I will cut it from there. <laughs> Yeah, so tonight for uh, Mahali Court, I had the shrimp sinigang. But yeah, the shrimp sinigang with chicken wings. Usually, I will order the fish, but do tonight. Like I came a little late, but next week, I will, um, I will uh, buy and get the fish next time. So I paid like fifty bucks tonight for dinner. That was good because like now with the cover charge for the band, now they have a cover charge. Before they didn't have no cover charge. Now they do. Right, hey, the band's got to make money, right? And if the band comes to a place like that, obviously I feel because uh, DJ Jeff was telling, was saying that all Filipino bars now have coverage. Actually, that's smart because you're also paying for the like before. I think before there was like no coverage, but now, now like all Filipino bars have 
coverage now, which is good because hey, the band's gonna make money. Where where where, where else are you gonna go? Because we, we if you go to another Filipino bar, you're gonna do, it's gonna be the same thing. Because like not only you're paying for your meals, you're also paying for you're you're also contributing to the band too. Because the band's gonna make money. Let's be let's get real here. The band's gonna make money if you're in a if you're a local band and you're going from like from bar to bar to bar. Obviously, you need to get fucking paid. Like all like that, you're getting yourselves out there. You're all, all the, talent, the talent's out there, right? So you, they got they got to pay their bills too. No, yeah, they have families. They got kids. They're living from they're living on paycheck to paycheck. Where well, these guys are doing it for, for like out of their day job. They're like they're doing this out of their day jobs. You have to come and show their talent, right? That's how it is. That's how it is, man. You gotta get by. You gotta get by. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I think like last week or the week before, these two fucking uh, white trash over on Westdale, Westdale, wherever the fuck that is, and apparently like they they were being rude to Jeff and Ruel because uh, I I guess that he was like bitching like a little girl saying that why why are you overcharging the price like why are you overcharging the drinks, and he decided to show fucking attitude. I was right there. I'm like, buddy, you don't come and disrespect Mahali Car, man. Like, you don't fucking disrespect Mahali Kurt. Just because, like, you can do that at your dive bars, wherever the fuck you are. Go fucking play it. Go fucking jerk off at Texas Longhorn or, or any of your fucking redneck bars. Just don't, just don't come to a place like that, man. Show respect. Like, seriously, where, 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 where else are you, you're going to pay for coverage? You didn't know. You didn't know. So, like, you know. Like, don't, don't disres, dis, 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 disrespect a place like Mahali Kurt. Or any other Filipino wrestle bar. Because I'll tell you where to go. Luckily, I was sitting there. Luckily, I was sitting there calmly. I would have gone up and knocked both of them out. Next time we talk to uh, Jeff and Ruel like that. Because, hey, you're in my house. You show respect. Go fucking do that at your other uh, dive bars. Your, your little redneck trashy bars. But don't pull that, don't pull that shit there. Because <laughs> I'll eat you alive, boy. <laughs> yeah, like where else are you gonna go? You where else are you gonna go? Where else are you gonna, you're gonna pay for a cover like for coverage, for to see a band at any other place? Dum dums. That's what you call trash. That's what you call trash at trash at Westdale at Westdale over by Westdale. There's Wolfdale, there's Westlock, and there's Trashland. Freaking don fucking donkey. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I had to prove a point there. See, like I say, back to about, like I saying about the band, the live bands that go to those Filipino bars. Obviously, they gotta get be paid too because they're also, you know, you're contributing to the band as well. <laughs> My goodness, what's wrong with you people? So I'm heading over to Tim Hortons now. <laughs> We're 13 minutes in, close to the end of the episode. So like I'm recording it out here for tonight. I'm going to be posting up, post this episode when I get home.